What is the perfect blue lock team? Have you guys ever thought about that? I didn't. That's why I'm stealing it from someone else. <laughs> Oh yeah, and this video is going to be anime only, so no manga characters included. So don't worry, little buddy. I got you. There are a lot of formations in football, like the 451, 442, 4231, numbers that won't make any sense to you, and honestly, me too. So instead, we'll go with one of the most popular formations by well-known clubs such as Barcelona and Man City, the 433. Don't worry, I'll explain how it works as the video goes on. Okay, so we got our board here. You guys digging this? I feel like an actual coach doing this. Like I can move them around and do tactics and shit. Really, really cool. So first we need a goalkeeper. Every team needs one. And I think no other player fits the bill quite like Gagamaru. And anyone who disagrees with this pick is an idiot. At 191 centimeters, there's no one taller than Gagamaru in Blue Lock, except for Aryu, who's apparently 195 cm, which is crazy considering he's only 18 years old and I'm at 269 cm. It's true, don't look that up. But the reason why I chose Gagamaru over Aryu is because of their abilities. It says here, Gagamaru has excellent body control and reflexes, meaning he's able to adapt to nearly any pass or downright any play with his spring-like body. This is so important because sometimes goalies need to make those impossible springboard saves like you see on TV. So having that skill from Gagamaru is really beneficial. Also, I don't know if you remember, in the anime, he did this like scorpion kick, which is actually an imitation of a real-life move done by Colombian keeper Rene Higuita, legend of the game. Next up, we have the back four, or simply the defenders. So the back four consists of two central defenders called center backs and two side defenders called left back and right back respectively. Let's take our picks for center backs first. Are you? I've said it before. He's extremely tall and can probably win most, if not all, aerial duels. But the key here is he also has a long reach, meaning if opposition forwards somehow dribble past him, he can still make up for it by trying to nick the ball from behind. Now, we're going to be putting him on the left side of the pairing, and he's most likely going to be staying there throughout the game, commanding the defensive line. Why? Because the next center back is going to be the one bringing the balls forward and opening up chances on goal. Now, this may seem off to you. Hey, what do you mean? Why is a defender carrying the ball up the field? Well, the 4-3-3 is a pretty aggressive formation, and we want to maximize our chances when we have the ball. And I think a great person to put in this position is none other than Aoshi Tokimitsu. Let's take a look at his abilities. He has an immovable physique, meaning in a physical battle, he can't be shaken off the ball easily. He's also very quick, so even if someone takes the ball from him, he can immediately try to get the ball back. We've seen him do this against Bachira, remember? And the reason why I think he can go forwards is because of his dribbling quality. Even Isagi mentions that in conjunction with his immense physical strength, he described them as a muscle bullet. Now for left back and right back. I mentioned that I want players that can carry the ball forwards when attacking, and the 4-3-3 is a perfect formation for that. See, if one of these two pushes forward, the rest can shuffle through the middle to create a back three. If both choose to go forward, the defensive midfielder can come back achieving the same thing. So who's playing on the left and who's playing on the right? Well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Just ask yourself, who are the two fastest players in blue lock? I'd argue it's Zantetsu and Chigiri. Zantetsu on the left and Chigiri on the right. Coincidentally, it's where their dominant leg is as well. This is good because I want both of them to push up like way into the opposite end because we want to overload their defenses. This achieves two things. One, more attacking options, and two, it stretches the opposition's defense thin, allowing more spaces in between for our forwards to play around with. My only problem is that Chigiri has his injured knee, so if he keeps running throughout the game, it might lead up to an injury. Good thing they don't exist, so I don't care. I still love you, Chigiri. You're my favorite. Next. Level. This is where we can get creative. Now, if you notice, these three are kind of staggered, and that's because they all have different roles to play in the midfield. And the first one is the defensive midfielder. As I mentioned before, if Zantetsu and Chigiri want to push up forward, then this guy has to drop back to form a three-man defense. He also has the crucial job of detecting danger from the enemy forwards before they try to execute them. So this player has to read the game very well, and there's one person who gave Isagi a run for his money in their second game. Iki Niko. This guy is a visual beast. He anticipates Isagi's passes so many times during the Team Z game, he anticipates his teammates' movements providing them with good passes, and he even anticipates you kicking the subscribe button before you've done it. Go ahead. 
Don't be shy. All right, central midfielder. This player is the one who dictates the tempo of the game. He controls everything, he sees everything, and he knows exactly how everyone wants to play. Reo Nikage. His link up with Nagi is already a given, but even when he was teamed up with Kunigami and Chigiri, he was able to understand their individual strengths and bring the best out of them. Easily one of the best box to box midfielders in Blue Lock. Box to box basically means he can carry the ball up to the attack from the midfield while also dropping back to support the defense if they're under pressure. Rayo is probably the best to do that because he's so good at practically everything. He can pass, he can dribble, he can defend, and he has an infinite stamina glitch so he can run for days. Very, very underrated player in blue lock in my opinion, and one of the most pivotal players in making this team work. And finally, to round out our midfield trio, Achira Meguru. Did you think it was going to be anyone else? Bachira is an insane dribbler who can hold the ball very well and can destroy defensive lines all by himself. This will be key because the midfield is going to be our main attacking channel. Bachira will not only serve to link up play between the attack and midfield, but he can also convert himself into a makeshift striker. I can easily see flashes of brilliance from him zigzagging through defenders to deliver a beautiful solo goal. Woo! Here we go. Three spots remaining with five potential players to slot in. Yeah, we can throw the monk kid in there too. Okay, now I as a coach with minutes of experience believe that connections and pairings are crucial. You know that thing in FIFA where they have like links between players? Yeah, I want all green links. So the player I can see being placed in the left wing position that can complement both the left back Santetsu and center mid Reo, Seishiro, Nagi. They already got their thing going on there from when they were in Team V. I know they have like the lovers quarrel right now, but it's nothing we can't overcome with some power of friendship, huh? Other than that, the reason why I put Nagi on the left wing is because he's an amazing trapper of the ball. He can receive literally any pass made by his teammates, so crosses from the fullbacks, from the midfield, hell, even from the center backs, I'm sure he can handle it. Now on the right. This guy, I've kind of given up on giving him a green link with people, but I think he won't have any problems with the people on his side of the pitch. Maybe even an orange link with Bachira, who knows? And yes, I'm of course talking about Itoshi Rin. One of the most accurate finishers in all of Blue Lock, he's literally the rival to Isagi and the only one right now preventing him from being the best player in the facility. And again, as I said, he had this instant chemical reaction with Bachira in the anime, so they should be able to recreate that many times throughout. And lastly, our final striker, our center forward. To choose between Isagi, Baro, Kunigami, and Monk, who will be our main man. It's Isagi. It has to be Isagi. His MC power buff is just way too strong. Isagi works because of how well he can identify space. For example, he can pass the ball like this and attack the space left by the defender. Or he can even use Nagi and Rin as decoys by pretending to pass to them but actually scoring himself. He can devour the shadow of their trail. What the fuck did I just say? There are so many options available with Isagi being in the center as compared to someone like Baro who's more of a pass to me, I'll score all the goals kind of guy. Which basically leaves Rin and Nagi essentially useless, right? And there you have it. My ultimate blue lock team. Anime only. Glorify it or roast it in the comments below. Whichever you want. Just promise me you'll devour that subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.